Now this is what it's going to kind of look like once it's all said and done. Um, three walls are all framed up, put in place. They're not screwed in place yet. I'm going to screw in our first partition wall. We'll do the end walls after that and we'll square everything up as we go along. I made marks on my floor where I want this. I don't know if you, get, if you guys can see it right here. There's a line. I'm going to put one screw in for now. Just going to find my other mark. Which is right here. So I'm just gonna flush up. Here. I'm gonna put one screw in here for now. Do that on both ends. Nice. The next step now, we want to flush these ends up. I'll probably go grab a clamp. I'll get this flushed up and then we're going to put a screw from this side and really strengthen this up. Use a clamp so it holds it for us. We got a third set of hands, which would be pretty nice. Our trick to doing this is take your square, put it along. Now to square it up, I'm going to do, do it a couple of different ways. I got this drywall square that for some reason the other end of the drywall square was cut off. Four feet long, so it works pretty good for this. Put it up against the front edge. I'll hold it nice and square. And then I'll bring the tail into it. Put one screw in it, kind of tack it, and then we'll do the other side the same way. Just gonna start a screw. Make sure it's flushed on the front, which right there is good. And then pull this over and tack it in place. Alright, double check. Yep, that's good. So I squared up both end walls. And just for redundancy, we're gonna check it this way also, run that from corner to corner. 80 and 5 eighths. Eighty and five eighths. Perfect. Now that I know everything's nice and square, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish screwing all the end walls in place now. gonna be running a header basically across here to get it so everything's all the right height when we're done. I'm gonna be putting four or two uprights on each side for the header to rest on. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this all together. Make sure everything's flushed up nicely. So I want to glue these in place also, so I'm just going to mark on the first header 
where the boards are so I can put the glue and not waste it. Six, at least six feet wide. I went ahead, it's gonna be six feet wide and what was it, seven feet long? And yeah, six and a half feet long. I went ahead and I'm making a center support. I used this rough cut quarter sawn white oak, just sanded it down. It's inch and a quarter thick. The reason why I'm using this, I had it. It's oak, it'll be rugged. I'm going to run it across, recess it in the header here, and then if I have to, I can put another corbel in the center, just a small one that's not in your way. Being white oak, this be really rugged and sturdy. It's five and a half wide, two and three quarter will be center. I found the center on the island. So I just marked center there, and I marked the center of the island. I'm just gonna line everything up. Mark the headers. The bullet's inch and 3 16 thick.
I had a shim up. This front side, that's a quarter inch thick yardstick is what I had. And put those down. abruptly ended. I'm sorry when I went and checked the last 30 seconds of it for some reason it didn't upload to YouTube. So the last 30 seconds of the last video were the first 30 seconds of this video. A little confusing I know but at least you can see it. It ended weird. This is what the island looks like right now. We kind of have it temporarily set up so we can use it while waiting to do the next phase. We have the core belt on. They're gonna have to come back off. The dog likes the hangout spot too. We have to put a little dog bed under there for it. We can temporarily use it for now. We're enjoying it. We actually, me and Olivia, just baked the cake. It's in the oven right now, baking. And we use the kitchen island to do it. It's so much more fun to cook now. We can all be around here helping. We're not getting in each other's way. So, can't wait till it's all done. This is what it looks like for now. We already got our stools. And we got a plywood top for now. This weekend we'll be putting the boards on the outside hopefully as long as we have time Christmas and everything's been kind of hectic around here but we like it so far even though it's just kind of a plywood and two by four island right mm -hmm. was it fun baking with dad yes. was it easier yes yeah it was fun wasn't it mm -hmm. can't wait till it's all done thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres for part three of our kitchen island build